President Abdel Fattah Hassisi sent a cable to the Iranian President Masoud Pazashkian in which he congratulated him on his victory in the presidential elections. The president asserted that this victory reflects the Iranian people's confidence in Pazashkian abilities to lead the country to prosperity, stability and development. The head of state also expressed appreciation for the good relations between the peoples of the two countries. President Abdel Fattah Hassisi conducted an inspection tour at the military academy. The president, along with the top military brass, reviewed the academy's training and educational activities. We have the details in the upcoming report. President Abdel Fattah Hassisi on Monday stressed the necessity of intensifying efforts for preparing qualified cadres at the state administrative bodies in cooperation with all the concerned bodies and in line with the high scientific and technical standards. The president made these remarks as he held an inspection tour at the military academy where he witnessed the admission tests for the new state employees. The tests conducted inside the academy headquarters in coordination with the military academy aim at evaluating some of the military cadres to be accessed into the state's administrative bodies, a move which the head of state believes would help cause an upgrade to the performance of the administrative bodies and promote the level of services provided for the citizens nationwide. At the start of the tour, the Military Academy Manager, General Ashraf Zahir, briefed the President on the ongoing activities in the Academy. President Assisi reviewed the lining of cadets and their morning training and educational activities, where he hailed their keenness to promote their skills, whether on the physical or the educational levels, which positively reflected on their distinguished performance. President Assisi was accompanied by the Minister of Defense and Military Production, General Abdel Magid Sakhr, the Armed Forces Chief of Staff, General Ahmed Khalifa, and the top military brass. Prime Minister Mustafa Madbouli read out the government's plan of action before the House of Representatives, saying that it aims at improving the citizens' living conditions. The Prime Minister tackled the current regional challenges and their impact on Egypt and asserted that the government seeks to alleviate the repercussions of these challenges. He stressed the importance of preserving national security and pointed out to the Egyptian diplomatic efforts for combating terrorism at the internal arena. Regarding the Ethiopian Dam file, Madhuli reiterated that the government aims to protect the Egyptian water security through cementing partnerships with the Nile Basin states. Madhuli also asserted the keenness on continuing the efforts for developing the health sector and improving the educational system during the upcoming period. According to a governmental source, the parliament will study the government's plan during 10 days in accordance with the constitution. Foreign Minister Bedr Abdul Hati said that the UN Agency for Refugees, the UNRWA, is one of the most important organizations working in Gaza and stressed the importance of its role in providing support for the Palestinians living in the Strip. He was speaking during a joint press conference with the UNRWA chief, Philippe Lazzarini in Cairo. Abdul Hati reiterated that about 200 employees have been killed since the start of the war on Gaza. Meanwhile, he called on the international community and financing parties to reconsider supporting the finance of the UNRWA as imperative for it to continue with its work. He further asserted the Palestinian cause is atop the priorities of the Egyptian foreign policy, adding that the Egyptian efforts to reach a ceasefire have not stopped since the start of the war. For his part, Lazzarini praised the Egyptian supportive stance towards the Palestinians and the agency and stated that some European countries have raised the financial contributions to the UNRWA. Egypt's stock market indices fluctuated 
amid selling and purchasing operations by the optimistic investors on both directions. So the benchmark EJX30 index slid by 0.67% to close at 28,411.87 points. But the EJX70 index for the small and medium businesses gained 0.09%, while the broader EJX100 index shed 0.14%. The market capitalization lost 6 billion pounds to close at 1 trillion and 917 billion pounds amid transactions of about 12.2 billion pounds.